Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are starting on our new deck project in Lakewood, Washington. So if you like what you see, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we put out new content. Uh, thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment below and hit that like button as well. All right, so we're building a really low deck and we're building it right over concrete. We only have like three and a half inches of room for framing. So what we're doing is we're gonna frame it similar to this. This is something I did on my computer. Uh, there's some really funky radiuses going on. We're basically rebuilding the deck. We're no longer doing a curve over here because of that thing over there. That's a grinder pump. It cannot be moved, it cannot be lowered. It needs to have access from the city. So we're just like, you know what? No problem, we'll keep it square. So this part of the deck's remaining square now and we have to add a beam about every five feet <clears throat> in here as well. And it's all these are gonna be like four by four beams. Then we're gonna hang two by fours in between about every five feet into these sections. And then we're gonna be creating a curve. So we're gonna be doing some flat blocking in here, like this, to support our curved surface borders. So that takes some time, but we're gonna start by framing this section over here first. We have nine footings to put in. I'm we're using pier blocks today. We don't use them very often, but in this instance, the deck is so low to the ground that that's what we decided to use uh, instead of traditionally pouring concrete. So we're gonna get going on that. Let's see where we end up. Okay, it's two. So this beam is gonna have to be, we'll have to cut it down again. Um, it's probably gonna have to be in here somewhere, which is kind of right in our pipe way. But what I'm trying to do is just figure out where the footing should go, the footings, you know? I bet you you have to come up. Right now we're setting our beams in place for the deck. And I set my elevation to the corner of the house thinking that was it. But then we just realized that the sliding door is a half inch lower than that. So we have to go back and lower a couple things um, because of that fact. So if we don't, and that's what a good reason why it, sometimes it's better to set a ledger board in place before you get rolling, but I thought I was clear, so my bad. We're gonna clean this up right now, uh, and then we're gonna double check some things. And or odds are we might have to pull this footing block and lower it a half an inch, because I think I'm maxed out on height as far as, I might be able to lower it a little bit, but I don't know if I get a full half inch out of it.
I need to go. Can we drag it towards the house a little? All right, so since we're using pier blocks, and like I said before, we don't we don't do this every day. We don't do this very often. We're we're more concrete pouring guys, but we have a really large grinder pump over here, and I'm not punching two foot deep holes. I already found one to one pipe, one clean out pipe, that scared the crap out of me because I thought I hit it with my rock bar. So we're using pier blocks on this job. If you don't like pier blocks, I understand. You don't need to leave leave a negative comment or anything like that. Um, you can comment below if you want, but what we do when we do use pier blocks, we tamp the hole really well. Once we got it to depth, we're going to tamp this hole. We're going to make some dust, all right? So by doing that, it really firms up the bottom of the ground so that there's not going to be much settling. Now, these are adjustable pier blocks. I can go through and crank these up or down if I leave a little bit of gap in there for it to, to lower and I can create a really nice firm setting. The old deck was built on pier blocks and it lasted 25 years. So I don't anticipate too many issues with this deck lasting on pier blocks either. But when we're doing it, that's we use a tamper to make sure that the hole is flat and that the whole base of the footing block is touching on earth. Instead of, if you don't have a flat hole, you have a dish then it's only running on the perimeter of the footing block. So there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our page. We appreciate it very much. Have a great day.